happy Monday. This is a very exciting week because it's the last week of classes of my first year of medical school. And I'm so excited and more importantly, I'm so proud of myself because the beginning of the semester, I just didn't think that I was going to make it out of here alive. I'm not kidding when they say medical school is hard. Oh, ah, the ghetto. The ghetto. The ghetto. I cannot believe it's May 6th and I'm gonna be done with the last Monday class of my first year. Wow. Um, and I just want to give, like, express my most sincere gratitude. Is my camera dirty? Also, just want to thank each and every one of you guys who have joined me on this doorbell. I also just want to say thank you guys for everyone who has joined me and who has supported me on this journey of my first year of medical school. Like, you guys don't know how much it means to me. And, like, when I read the comments, when I'm feeling down, how much that kind of like inspires me and picks me back up so so it's 12 37 i didn't go to class but i'm i'm really gonna try to go to classes so first things first what we're is we are of course gonna go in with my notion i haven't used my notion in a minute that's how you know my life has been a little hectic babe. the last time i used my notion was april 16th okay so it's may 6 2024 i don't mm, I don't know what I want to do. I have a 1.30 p.m. lecture. I had a 9 a.m. and an 11 a.m. lecture this morning. Those are actually pretty interesting. So I'm going to be excited to go through them because, you know, I was like kind of listening, kind of not. Um, we obviously need to do our Anki reviews for the day. I really need to, we need to do neuroscience mini board prep i have three exams next week so <laughs> i really have to like be on my game plan this week like we don't have time i don't want to stay in school any longer i want to start my summer next friday so we have our neuroscience mini board next friday so we need to start studying i think today i'm going to try the practice questions from the actual website they have like sample questions and then i really need to review stroke i think that was the lecture lecture stroke review review stroke lecture and then i need to re-watch i forgot what it was called it was like reticular formation i think reticu formation lecture and then I need to review today's lectures and do the Archidex review today's lectures plus Archidex and of course we need to review our tracks It's 1242 right now, don't have class till 1.30. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is do my Anki review. My Anki isn't like too overwhelming with the numbers. And then I'm gonna try to fit in my neuroscience prep. After the lecture, I can go ahead and just review the other lectures where I think that's gonna be the game plan. This is what my OS3 deck is looking like. My streak, six days. These obviously be the days. Like, I, don't know, I think these were like mini, I think these were like mini board days or something. My streak should really be longer, but I feel like my stamina for Anki has gotten, like has increased because I now like can do 900,000 900, cards a day. It's really good. I try my hardest to complete my decks each day now. Just, I just feel like that's the whole point with the whole spatial repetition. I try not to leave any numbers there unless, you know, like I just had a long day and I'm tired, whatever. But I try my hardest to complete all of it. Just to come this way. Hey, 
Okay guys, so I had to do a little outfit change because my romper got wet. But I just got out of my 1.30 p.m. lecture. It's 3.35. It was a really interesting lecture. It was over mental health disorders that we talked about anxiety, depression, schizophrenia. It was all very interesting. Um, during that, I did some flashcards. So I've gotten through 601 flashcards. These are all of the cards that I have left today. I really need to go review my epilepsy, learning and memory stuff before I tackle them. Just because since they're so high, since I still have a lot of learning cards due for those decks, that means that I don't know the material that well. Um, I feel like it makes sense to go over it instead of just like looking at the cards, not knowing what I'm talking about. Um, my eyes hurt. I gotta start wearing my glasses. I can't wait for next year so I can avoid all responsibility because I'm just not equipped to be doing all of this. I'm not. So um, I gotta make these birthday posts really quick. And after that, I'm pretty proud of myself this year. I think I've talked to all of my classmates at least once. I don't even know. I don't remember what the first lecture was even on. My goal is to be done by eight, nine o'clock. Really eight, nine is low key pushing it. If I break this camera, you guys, unfortunately, it might be a wrap to my YouTube channel. I can't afford another camera. I feel like I need a nap now. I think one of my goals before I start my second year though, you guys, is to for sure go to the doctor. I think that I have a little bit of ADHD. ADHD and I just have like really bad like problems staying awake and with concentrating. I don't know if it's because of you know, TikTok and I feel like our social media apps are enabling a, a really short attention span. Like I'm so used to watching things in like 60 seconds or just scrolling through something. I hate having to try to like decipher something like if I can't don't tell me like the most important information and this is with anything not with like school when i'm on a tiktok if like the first 30 seconds you're still yapping on tiktok i scroll to the next video i just think i have i have a very short attention span which isn't good and it makes it very hard to obviously learn and to stay um to stay concentrated it's so hard for me like my attention i can probably pay attention for a good 30 minutes whenever i'm doing lecture whenever i'm watching my lecture or whatever or listening to professors but after 30 minutes i don't know what it is like my brain has to shift to do something else and i feel like that makes my learning and like my review so much longer because i didn't have the attention span for the first time to understand it. When I do self-study though, it is a little better. I'm not sure why it's like that, but typically, why is this taking so long? Typically when I self-study, it's a lot better and I can get that done, but this is starting to annoy me. Like Canva, Canvas, Canva, why is this taking so long? For me to figure out how to export yeah so i definitely want to and i've talked to other people as well too not at school but um like those in like post-grad problems and just people who may have like attention deficiencies i'm sorry my eyes hurt um saying that they did better and after talking to people as well um, especially like upperclassmen i've learned that it's actually kind of normal to recognize that you have like those kind of attention problems when you get into like post-grad because obviously college like doesn't require <laughs> as much work at all and so i talked to an upperclassman who was in medical school how he started performing better once he got on medication because he realized he he has like an attention deficiency problem. Over the summer, I definitely want to spend time um, like getting my mental health straightened out, my attention, my sleep. Because I don't think I get that much good of sleep either. And sometimes I have sleep paralysis and which is funny because we finally talked about that today. Sometimes I have sleep paralysis, so I feel like something's wrong with my REM sleep because I'm also, I'm just always tired. Like even right now, I could go to sleep. He's tired. So I definitely want to focus this summer on like making sure that I'm my best self for next year because I feel like these, this kind of stuff served as limitations for my first year and it's kind of I recognize that I have a problem so I should probably figure it out because I bet I would be more successful if I was able to pinpoint the problem and figure it out. 
Oh my god. I hate this app. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. My line sister is also joining me at uh, my school next year. I'm so excited to have like one of my line sisters there. And it's so funny, some people ha at school have said to me, Will you only hang out with your line sisters? Like, I mean, I feel like when you're in a sorority, like it's different. Like you go through a whole bunch of stuff with those people and i've experienced a lot of stuff in my life with my no, i'm not even gonna say that because that makes it sound like i've been in the sorority forever but we've gone through a lot together and i feel like you know i have a strong bond with you know a good bit of my line sisters and i don't i think people who aren't in the d92 don't really understand it like i feel like it's something you don't understand unless you're in it but i was just an undergrad here i'm used to literally doing everything with my line sisters <laughs> like even just getting a quick meal going to the gym going to programs whatever like i was even after programs when we would get food who am i doing it with my line sisters going to games who am i doing it with my line sisters visiting other schools who am i doing it with my line sisters spring break who did i go with my line sisters so that's kind of hurt my feelings when people at school say that to me because it's not like i'm choosing them like over friends from school i just know my line sisters better and when you go from seeing people like seeing people every day to you know really not having a whole bunch of time to interact with them and to be around them when I'm able to see my line sisters, like I'm really excited to see my line sisters because we always have a great time together and I don't see them as often anymore. So I don't know why I just gave you guys that little rant. But <laughs> moral of the story is I'm excited for, you know, my line sister to be coming here. I ha actually have like a good bit of my line sisters in Atlanta too. Um, I've slowly been trying to get them into class pass. So tomorrow, son and I, we're going to solid core z went to solid core with me last week i think that she liked it solid core is definitely like a little wake up call though you would be like wait my core might not be that solid but it will definitely get you right so i'm excited that my um line sisters are slowly becoming pilates girls with me because i've been needing a pilates body uh <laughs> i've been needing a pilates buddy um, so this lecture, I'm gonna start with sleep and wakefulness. I always say that I think it's a good idea to review the lecture slides, even if you just had lectures. So um, this was my first lecture today. I'm just gonna be reviewing the slides and making my study guide. As you guys know, I try to fit everything on one page. Think of it as if you had a cheat sheet that you put on that cheat sheet. And I think this worked really well for me for my last exam too, because you know, our exams are primarily split in like two parts or whatever. And then, or even in the morning, just having one page full of like the most sealed stuff, it's definitely more beneficial than going through a 55 page lecture, a 55 slide lecture really quick. If you can just get the big picture, put it onto one page, I feel like that's really good review and go back and reread it. That's what I do. My one page of notes from my sleep and wakefulness lecture. See, it was 55 slides and I concised everything to one page. Now, before I start on the second lecture, I'm gonna find the correlated bootcamp video to watch um, just to make sure that I'm really getting the concepts down and boot camp of course really focuses on the high yield stuff it may help me with some of the stuff that i may not have gotten or understood from the lecture in the notes to sleep physiology hey guys it's jake here with med school boot camp thanks for tuning into our YouTube. yeah so that's gonna be the plan if i wrote you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me if I told you you were beautiful, would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world, but I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart, but there's just one thing I need from you. Okay, guys, so I'm at school. I had a 1.30 p.m. 
I had a 1.30 p.m. lecture and went well and so Boston invited me to his little study room. So now I'm just here studying. I'm probably gonna leave around 4.30 because I need to go by USPS to mail out my letter. Yeah, so I've gotten through my morning lectures today and I think I think now I'm probably I'm just gonna catch up on my Anki for today. But I need to catch up on some of my Anki decks, so I think I'm gonna do that first before starting these new Anki's decks of the day. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So it's 5.09 p.m. and I'm just leaving the post office. I wrote a thank you letter to my donors for my scholarship, so I needed to drop that off in. But UPS needs to learn something because the post office only charged me 88 cents. Last time I went to UPS and they charged me like $10 to send a letter. You gotta make sure I get my fetch rewards. I need to do better with my fetch. I don't know if you guys use fetch, but basically fetch they let you get points for your receipt. Your receipt is a duplicate, so I did it. Um, so with Fetch, you get reward points when you scan your receipts and you can get like Visa gift cards, Uber gift cards, and all that good stuff. And so I need to do better with getting it since I'm gonna leave. So I can go ahead and gift cards before I go to my, um, go on all my trips. So these are all the receipts that I had in my car. What are those? These are bills. I'm getting warm and like muggy outside. It's 83 degrees. Let's see how far I am away from my house. Oh my God. I think it's not cute. Should I just go back to school? <sighs> we don't want to go back to school. We may have to endure the traffic, but why is traffic so bad right now? Sometimes ways though, ways be like where the real tea is. So go ahead and send. Let's take Peter Street Southwest, Piedmont Avenue, Northeast Atlanta. I'm gonna go ahead and text Sun like the parking information because we have we have um, Pilates at 9:30 tonight. So my goal when I get home is to literally catch up on all of my flashcards, a little bit of mini porps mini prep studying i went through my lectures for today so i really because i didn't do my anki deck from yesterday i have yesterday's anki decks today's anki decks and then like the review decks so that's really what i'm gonna focus on today when i get home for today and I did some mini board prep go to Pilates with Sun I have on this is like my favorite set favorite set it's from Wonder Active and it feels like butter for one and it's also just it just feels great like when you think of a really good gym set this is what you think of honestly so tired too but we're gonna get this workout in and it's gonna be a good one. I'm trying a new instructor today because the one that I typically go to, she's not working today. So I'm gonna be kind of interested on how this goes and I hope it goes well because I've never had him before, but cross this will be a great class. It's full body. Okay, 
guys, so clock in 5.51. I've had like a hectic day and my camera was importing for the longest, so it's that. But it's Wednesday and you guys saw it in like the previous clips. I made my way to school really quick because y'all, it was student success day and it was so cute. I actually loved it. Um, So basically it was kind of like um around all these different tables and you have this card and you gotta go to the tables to get stickers. But the tables were just different resources at this school so like different offices uh counseling services stuff like that where you can talk to them find out more information and so it was actually really helpful i saw one of my um professors that i meet with pretty often and so that was really nice and they provided food so it really got me to to go to get up and go so i had some really good jamaican food and yeah i really liked it because sometimes busy in school you'd be forgetting like all the resources that are actually there and being able to talk to them find out more was really good so it's 5 52 right now and i got back i ate took some notes on today's lecture i really only had one lecture because my 11 a.m lecture was basically review so that was pretty good and then did some flashcards. oh and i talked to zoe so zoe was my roommate back in undergrad and she's in nursing school right now so like we try we're both really busy but we try to catch up when we can and it's just so like cute that we can talk about like our healthcare experiences and relate to each other and I just love how successful we are both are right now just we literally came into undergrad together like we did this program for our senior year of high school and we both ended up at UGA we remained friends throughout UGA we became roommates at UGA so it was so great to catch up with her because I was so used to her like I was so used to seeing her every day like literally and when we weren't roommates like we always made time to see each other and I love Zoe like she is definitely like a lifelong friend so I actually ended up doing an interview with Zoe because we I have another course that I have to do an interview for it that's due on Friday. So she let me do her interview. And now what I'm doing is I'm finally gonna hit some practice questions just so I can start seeing where I'm at for the exam, talking to Zoe. And she was telling me how like the whole nursing process is at school with the exam. It just made me kind of nervous for my exam and I think it's time to start some practice questions right now because we are five days out from the exam. So what I'm gonna do, I have my study guide up. I have my study guide up and I have the practice questions up by lecture. But so what I'm gonna do is like review my one page study guide and then hit the practice questions. I'm gonna leave in about an hour because I'm gonna go over to Z. Z is one of my line sisters. She stays like six minutes away from me. A bunch of our line sisters are graduating this Friday I'm not gonna go to graduation because I'm gonna study but a bunch of them are graduating and I'm gonna help them make some signs and stuff for them so I can be there in spirit so I think I'm gonna stay there like from 7 to 9 come back make dinner study some more I think tomorrow is officially my last day of classes so I'm gonna try my hardest to make it to class tomorrow um, just cuz like last day let me make sure yeah oh my god tomorrow is my actual last day of classes so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna put on a cute fit for tomorrow, actually. That's what we're gonna do. Wow, that is crazy. What, what? Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. It's time to get some stuff done. So let's get our study on. Mm -hmm. 